you, Anastasia. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. How are you doing? Where are you, where are you from? What do you do for a living? Okay, brilliant. It's a little bit of audience participation. Thank you. Um, listen, I, I have to say thank you very much, Bogdan, for inviting me here. And uh, thank you, Anastasia, for that beautiful introduction. And thank you for this man who's selling drugs in the front <laughs> row. In Ukraine, we, are, we don't have to worry. There's a fucking war on. Let's be open about our drug. You know what I mean? It's that Ukrainian cocaine full of... Have you ever tried that Ukrainian cocaine? I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. I'm really sorry. I'm so rude. I'm rude. I am rude. Yeah, just pay the fucking man, will you? Pay them. How much is Ukrainian cocaine? What is in Ukrainian cocaine? What is in Ukrainian cocaine? That's what we'd like to know. S shrapnel. Okay, fair enough. Well, listen, it's a great honor, genuinely. I know you're probably looking at me and you think, fuck you, who cares what you think? You're just some asshole from somewhere. You're old. I know I'm old, madame. That's disgusting. <laughs> it is, it is. It's, it's, I know, when you're young, I, I was young once. I know. It's weird, isn't it? I'm looking at myself on the television there, and that's, oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Yeah, but, okay, thanks. <laughs> But I'm just saying, young lady, I was young once. I was, I was young. And no, I was. And I remember being young and looking at old people and being disgusted by them. But let me tell you something that uh, I didn't choose to be old. It just happens. You know, just life rolls on. And uh, I'm not trying to be funny right now in this moment. So don't worry. Thank you. So uh, it's a great honor to be here. Uh, I, I've traveled uh, from Dublin. Uh, it's a shitty little country off the coast of Ireland, uh, off the coast of England. Has, has anybody been? Has anybody been? Uh, these are my notes. I have some ideas. Uh, you know, I know there are a lot of comedians here. I don't even have any jokes. I've just got some premises. Pre I mean, some ideas that I haven't worked out. Uh, you know. Um, Mm, let me just just let, let me. I, I've started a GoFundMe page. This might this is an idea. You know, I don't know if this is going to be funny. And it's not good to try out ideas when you're <laughs> and people coughing. Another one, COVID death. Okay. <laughs> okay. Listen. Fuck this. Uh, um, but anyway, I started a GoFundMe. Thank you. What's that? Oh no no. Thank you very much. This is a good friend of mine. I hire him for. He's quite scary. <laughs> <laughs> For a moment there, I thought I was the only person who saw him. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I started a GoFundMe page, and uh, it was great. Lots of people sent money because I want to go around to places and give money to people. But I I'd love to, I should set up a GoFuckMe page. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, I haven't had sex in a long time, and maybe there are some young people out there who would be charitable <laughs> and, you know, offer their. Okay. Anyway, I haven't come to Ukraine. I'm not doing this show for money. I'm doing this show for sex. Thank you. <laughs> Does anybody find me attractive? Uh, One man. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gay. Or maybe I am. Maybe I haven't met the right man. I hope I never do. <laughs> And if you're out there, stay away from me. Stop tempting me with your hands and your shoulders. Maybe I am a bit gay. But I'm not gay enough to put a man's cock in my mouth. I guess you'd have to be re Well, that would just be normal. That's just a normal gay thing. You know what I mean? And then you look at women and you think to yourself, Women have no problem, you know, putting men's cocks in their mouths. <laughs> like a woman could have a cock in her mouth all night and wake up the next morning and just be like, hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, listen, uh, I, I'm aware of the fact that I'm speaking English. I'm in Ukraine. I think I'm ashamed of myself. I should l learn your language. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I think it's an amazing situation. I think it's terrible that Putin has invaded your country. He's, he's insane. 
Hey, Mr. Putin, what are you doing? Dropping bombs in Ukraine. This is a protest song. It's not going to help. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? People putting up posters, you know, like... You know what I mean? I understand the mind, though, of Putin. Because uh, he wants Ukraine. And Ukraine wants nothing to do... Fuck off. They're saying, fuck off. Fuck off, Putin. Fuck the fuck off. Like, they are... There's no... You know what I mean? There's no... It's just fuck off. Because I understand... Because I was going out with a girl about 15 years ago. And I was madly in love with her. And she wanted nothing to do with me. But if I had an army at my disposal... I expected to get a laugh there, but I didn't. <laughs> and let's just embrace the awkward silence that I have created. Just let's not be afraid of it. You know, just let's embrace, just let's sit with the feeling of awkwardness. Madame, you don't look happy right now. <laughs> it reminds me, one time I did a gig in Moscow. I actually did a gig, this was about eight years ago, for this Irish festival. And I mean, if you think... Like, people in Moscow, they look fucking depressed. They are very depressing-looking people. They look like poker players. They, they are very... You know what I mean? You can't read their emotions. You, they're very hard to read, and they don't... They just look like... You know what I mean? And I was doing a show, and I had a translator. So, so it was like, hello... I, I can't speak Russian. Hello, how are you doing? And the translator went... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. How are you doing? Where are you from? And his name was Ivan, right? So, and then I, I was trying to connect with the audience, like I'm trying to connect with you, but failing. And um, I was trying to connect with the audience, and the Russians in Moscow, they were just staring at me. And then I said, okay, this song is called The Things I Love About Moscow. And I was going to say, this was the song I was singing. And then the translator translated that, Ivan, and he went, I don't know what that means. This song is called The Things I Love About Moscow. I'm going to sing it now. This is the song. Okay, and the audience are just... So, song is called Things I Love About Moscow. The song is called Things I Love About Moscow. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, they didn't think it was funny. They didn't like it at all, right? And uh, so I was dying in Moscow. And it was quite scary. And then, so I, try, I pretended then to t be the translator. So I wanted to talk directly to them. So I said, my name is Ivan. So he said that. I'm the translator. I'm very lonely. lonely. I go home and I stick small mice up my asshole. He had, he, he, had, he had to say that because he was up my fucking asshole. And I swear to God, the, the Russian, the Moscow, or the Moscow people, they didn't laugh like you healthy people. They didn't go, ha ha. They laughed from a sort of, they went like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It was like they laughed. They didn't know what was happening, madame. They didn't know. Just kind of like you, you know, where it's, ooh, 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 ah, ah. Did it, you know, it was, um, hmm, there you go. Take what you want from that story. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be here. Um, yeah. For so long, there was 100,000 troops on, on the Ukrainian border, and people in my country were saying, do you think he's going to invade? <laughs> you know what I mean? He had 100,000 troops on the border, and people were going, do you think he's going to invade? <laughs> yeah, I think he fucking might. I think he might invade. You know, you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to figure that out. If this madman has got 100,000 people ready to invade, but he fucked with the wrong people, I'll tell you that much. Mamma mia, I, I mean, I, we're so impressed. Putin, you fucked with the wrong people. I, was, I just got through the border, it took about two hours, and these guys walking around the border, do you know what I mean? All the hair, they just look like fucking killers, man. They look like they wanted to eat me, for Christ's sake. I felt so intimidated. I'm such a pussy. I'm such a coward. 
You know, go over there and shoot someone. Absolutely not. <laughs> like, I mean, if, if Russia invaded Ireland, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it would be a very short war. <laughs> we don't have an army. We, do, we, have, we have rebel singers. We have rebel singers going. <laughs> That's all we have. That's all we, we can send rebel singers to Russia. <laughs> Fuck off, Russia. Fuck you. Oh, leave our Ukrainian brothers and sisters alone. Ah, uh, and you know, that's all we can do. We can give you our rebel songs. How about that? You can, instead of saying British, you know, Oh, the British stole me grandmother a million years ago. And I'll never, ever, ever let it go. In 1843, in 1721, and then something, you know what I mean? It's pathetic. All we have in Ireland is anger, but it's pure with impotence. There's no nothing to back it up. But you guys, you Ukrainians, man, you're on a different. You're you're hardcore, and you hear all these conspiracy theories. Oh, Ukraine, yeah, it's just it's this and that, and it's you know, they've been coerced, they've been manipulated into breaking away from Russia. I don't think you can fucking manipulate Ukrainians. I don't think you can fucking force them to do anything. I mean, they're fighting an army that's about a hundred times bigger than them and kind of winning. Do you know what I mean? One person went woo. Okay. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel that I sense the audience is kind of. <laughs> what are you fucking saying? <laughs> Look, what the fuck are you talking about? So I'm, I'm just, I'm obviously, huh? Okay. <laughs> so I'm just saying it's a real honor to be here. Uh, you know, it, we, we, you know. And uh, I, I mean, I'm just saying we don't have an army in Ireland. We we don't. We were alcoholics. <laughs> Catholics, I know you're very Catholicism. Is it a big thing here? You like your religion? Yeah, priests. <laughs> <laughs> I was the only child in my school who managed to abuse the priests. <laughs> Got a laugh on this table. The other table didn't respond to that joke. So just again, just let's sit with the uncomfortableness of that joke getting no reaction. Let's not be afraid to feel. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, if Russia invaded uh, Ireland, it would there would just be people behind a wall. We'd be like this. Look. <laughs> will you ever fuck off, will you? <laughs> fuck, fuck off, Russia, will you? <laughs> Look, it's pathetic. We have no defense. We have no army. We just have alcoholic people singing in pubs but yeah um so yeah so uh, yeah I, I can't believe i'm actually here people were very scared my ex, my, my, my ex-wife wasn't scared oh yeah she said to me my ex-wife was saying yeah no you should you should go <laughs> and then then she said she wanted me to take my young son jack this is true actually she wanted me to take my young son uh, he's 21 jack he's a beautiful kid I keep on looking at that woman because her face is so sad. I'm sorry, I keep, I get drawn to it. What's going on? Have you broke up with it? Have you broken her heart? Well, you bastard. Why did you break her? You handsome, he's handsome, isn't he? Look at him. Oh, you're married. Congratulations. You're married. Aww. 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 The blow job. What's the blow? The blow job has gone crazy. Have you noticed the blowjob nowadays? You young kids, it's crazy with the blowjob. You know, like when I was growing up, the blowjob, you know the blowjob? What do you call the blowjob in Ukrainian? <laughs> what do you call the blowjob in Ukrainian? The bshmir, the 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 blowjob. Do you understand what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> It sounds, it sounds very, that sounds very violent. I don't think I would like, Anatron Bratan! Jesus Christ. Gently, please. I am Ukrainian woman. I'm going to Gratan and Fang So listen, 
The blowjob, I'm just saying, when I was growing up, like, nowadays the blowjob is very violent. You know, you know the way, you know, people go like, do you know that kind of carry on? Look, they go like, they get the erect penis and they shove it in. Do you know what I'm saying? It's almost like the cock is a plunger and the mouth is a blocked toilet. And they're going like, I mean, you know, call me old fashioned. I don't think you've got the hang of that at all. You know what I mean? If my mother <laughs> sucked off my father like that, <laughs> if my mother did that, my father would react like this. Jesus Christ, what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Uh, he'd, call the, he'd call the hospital. He'd call the mental hospital. My, my, my wife's trying to kill herself. So I would just say, you know, just calm down. So, so uh, I, you know, yeah. I, I can't believe I'm in Lviv and performing to you. I'm, I'm genuinely so humble. I don't know what to do. I w I'd like to make a big contribution to tonight. I think me and Johnny will give uh, some money for the thing. Because, yeah, okay, big deal. So what? We don't even fucking whatever. I mean, I'm not real. I'm not, I'm, I fail. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm not wealthy. I don't have a house or anything. I don't own my own. I'm, I'm, I'm shit. Thank you. I just got the light. <laughs> so you know when people... What, how, what do you say if you call somebody a wanker? What do you call somebody? You go, hey, you fucking wanker. Do you say that? Is that... Do they do that in Ukraine? Hey, mate, you're a fucking wanker. Yes. What do they call it? Trucello. They don't. Trucello. Yeah, because in, in, in London, people, they always go like this. Oi, wanker. But it's a funny thing. Why remind someone you're angry with of something that gives pleasure? It doesn't make any sense. Do you see what I'm saying? Hey, I fucking hate you, you fucking wanker. You know what I mean? And you can't do it slowly. You can't go, hey. <laughs> that, that would actually be more threatening when you think about it. If somebody did this to you, if somebody went, hey, mate, yeah? Because that suggests, uh, yeah. You have to go like that. Oi, you fucking... I've never seen a woman go, Hey, do you know what you are? Okay. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, uh, genuinely, uh, thank you very much. It's my first day, first hour in Lviv, and uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you very much.